<laughs> the federal government is taking on some of the biggest, uh, planet's biggest tech companies over cyberbullying. The coalition is planning new laws that could force Facebook and Twitter to remove content if children or parents object. The Australian newspaper is reporting today the government wants a new independent commissioner who could hear complaints and compel social media firms to take action. The MP responsible for the plan thinks the companies aren't doing enough to protect children. If you're a child who is a victim of cyberbullying or a, a parent or a teacher wanting to assist that child, uh, if the site doesn't respond when you notify a concern, you really have no redress at all. Social media firms insist they've already removed harmful content. They fear the new legislation could threaten free speech. Uh, Chris, what do you think of this idea? This, this is this is terrible. It's terrible for a number of reasons. Obviously, it's got some pretty serious freedom of speech implications. What we're talking about is a broad new government censorship power of social media networks, um, which uh, which won't necessarily just be used for the worst of the worst of the worst, as um, as governments like to pretend they censor for, but it'll slowly creep up as as it inevitably does. But it's particularly bad from this government because this government came to power talking about how they were going to pursue the freedom agenda. They're very proud, and justifiably so, of uh, being against the Labor government's internet filter. The idea that they would come straight into power and propose a broad new censorship scheme for social media, I think, is absolutely obscene, and, and we have to um, work very, very hard to, uh, to make sure that they realise that's the case. Chris, we already have uh, censorship in various forms in social media. Facebook, uh, I think, bans nudity and, and, and drug use. Why, why not ban bullying? Well, no, Facebook does ban bullying as well, and Facebook should have substantial um, uh, processes in place to, to take down all sorts of stuff. My concern is that the government's overriding those sorts of things. My concern is that we're going to get another level of official censorship, which um, adds to the very large amount of censorship on the internet that goes on um, under Australian law already. I think I, 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 I think that we need to, the government needs to work with these firms, but it doesn't need to censor these firms. Tim, I'm sure you come across a lot of complaints of racism in social media through your job. What do you think of this proposal? Yeah, we do, and, and that's been one area where, uh, where there's been a particular increase in, in racism in, in the view of the Commission, cyber racism. Uh, we need to recognise that there can be very serious harms to cyber bullying, particularly if it affects young people. This can have the potential to deform the formation of their personality, their character and their ability to enjoy the sorts of freedoms that we, uh, we, we ordinarily take for granted. Um, this can have very serious personal effects. Ideally, companies should be responding very quickly to complaints or to antisocial material, but we know from experience that that's not always the case. Uh, I'd like to see more detail from the government's proposal, but if this can shake up uh, social media companies to do better at removing antisocial material, then that'd be a good thing. Mike, what do you think of this idea? Um, look, I'm, I'm a bit each way on it, to be honest, because um, uh, I'm not quite as, as, as uh, libertarian as, as Chris, but, but I just think it's practically very difficult to decide where lines are drawn here, and I think that ultimately, in, in a lot of these situations, it comes down to being a family responsibility, for want of a better term. You, know, you, you, you look out for your kids, and, uh, and uh, you build them up, and you tell them that they don't, you know, they don't have to be affected by this sort of stuff. I think that a lot of it can be can be addressed at a much, you know, more individual and personal level. And that, and that's in, that's incredibly important because it's it's important to realise that there's no such thing as cyber bullying per se. It's it's just bullying. And if well, we it is pretend just bullying. that cyber that's bullying right. is something special and separate from what goes on in schools or what goes on in playgrounds or so forth, we're missing the point entirely. Bullying itself is an issue that has to be dealt with at okay. the level of the I, school right. or the education system. Chris, we've got to leave it there. Thanks to all of our panellists tonight, Chris Berg, Mike Seckham and Tim Sue Pomisan, and I'll say our guests John Dwyer and Anthony Green. And we'll see you same time tomorrow night. Catch you then.